Welcome to Lambis.com in our lab video series on Cisco SD-WAN. This is Metha, the instructor for this video series. For a complete list of our SD-WAN videos, you can visit our website under the routing switching section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. In the last video, we went through the Cisco SD-WAN bring up process. I did mention that you have two options on the controllers, either go with the cloud version. So all of the controllers will be installed and hosted for you by Cisco and there's nothing that you really need to do in terms of installation. Or if you rather keep the controllers on-prem, maybe just because sending your network routes to the cloud violates your security policies, or if you just want to build a lab like we do here, you would need to go through the controller installation, which is what we will be doing in this lab. Although we are actually gonna pretend that they're a cloud servers. If you have already decided to use the cloud controllers, you can probably safely skip this video unless you want to really understand what happens in the controller install. In our lab setup, we are going to install the three controllers, the vManage, vBond, and vSmart in our simulated cloud with a site ID of 255. They're each gonna be sitting on a subnet of 1.1.0 slash 24 on VLAN 110, right, with the IP address of .11 for vManage, .12 for vBond, .13 for vSmart. And each will have the corresponding system IP with the first three octets of 11255, with the last octet line up with the interface IP. On the internet, we're also going to have a DNS server, right, which we're going to, again, pretend that it's a public DNS at the IP of 11010. At our headquarters, which is site ID number one, we have a Windows 2012 domain controller with the IP address of 162.16.32.40 on VLAN 32. We're gonna use that as our jump box as well as to do connectivity testing and remote access after we install each of the controller. And the way that it's gonna access the internet is to go through the core switch, which connects to our site firewall. And that's just an ASA with these IP addresses on the inside and on the outside. On the outside is VLAN 111 that connects it to an internet. All right, the IP of dot three dot one is the gateway. So our goal here is to bring up three of our controllers and have them establish the connection as we talked about in the last video. Even though we are pretending that these controllers are actually located in the cloud or on the internet, they can easily uh, be moved into your enterprise environment. So the installation process that we're going through is actually applicable to both, with the exception of the VBON having to be publicly accessible from the internet, right? Because assuming that's where that your device would be coming from, with the internet being a transport. Otherwise, the vManage and vSmart can be safely set inside or behind the firewall. So let's get started with our installation. The Cisco SD-WAN controller only comes in a virtual machine form factor. So you need to have supported virtual environment, which are as of today, the VMware and KVM. Here we will be using VMware ESXi's as our server. And we use that to install our VM. Right, so let me bring up the RDP session to our jump box. Um, the first thing you probably need to do is to go to cisco.com and download the OVA file. So let's go and take a look at the download page that I already have open right here. So basically just look up software defined WAN, SD-WAN, right? And go into SD-WAN. And then to get the software, depending on which component you want, let's first look at the vManage. So you click into the vManage. Looks like latest version right now is 18.3.1. So you can download the OVA right there for the VMware, or if it's a KVM, you can do QCOW image right there. I guess you can also do, if you wanted to do a Microsoft Azure, there's also an image right there as well. Okay, so for us, it's gonna be the OVA, and that's for the vManage. vSmart is located right here. Make sure there's a matching version. Uh, vSmart OVA. And then the last component, which is the vBON, that should be part of the VH Cloud. So VBON is actually running as a service on the VH Cloud, which is the VM version of the WAN Edge router. As you can see right there, VH Cloud and VBON new deployment OVA. So those would be the three files that you need to download. 